The next thing we're going to do is put wing markers on these. Let me do this one first. Dave, can you come? I'll hold this wing out. So just so I'll hold it the wrist there. are a semi-permanent ID for the birds. Um, the bands do have, are the permanent ID, but you cannot see those through a spotting scope. And we're very interested in the identity of all the birds on the islands and as they go to the mainland as well. So these tags allow us to ID the bird from a distance and for others to ID them. We get a lot of calls, emails, from people who have seen and taken pictures of the birds um, all the way up to British Columbia. So these birds can move pretty long distances. These tags are very lightweight. They go over the leading edge of the wing and they're put on with a, a pig ear tag just through the patagium, which is this very thin layer of skin. Um, it's almost see-through. Uh, very little in the way of blood vessels or nerves or anything. It really doesn't hurt them much, it's just sort of the, the pinch on the wing that makes them jump. They've got a little bit of a point to it, so I like to file that down so it doesn't poke them when they're bird will be number 69 in our records. All the birds that have been released on the islands have had these wing markers. We use blue wing tags for birds on the Northern Channel Islands and orange ones for birds released on Catalina Island. Start working on the the radio on this one. Okay. Right, yeah. So Stephanie will start working on putting a, a radio transmitter on that bird. Actually, a, a dual. They have a. Uh, look at this. They're a GPS transmitter. This large portion is a GPS transmitter that gives us their hourly locations 14 times a day. And then on the side is a VHF one that we can go out and find a bird in real time with an antenna and a receiver. So these have been very helpful. The, the birds move between the islands frequently. Um, some of the birds will be on all four of the Northern Channel Islands within a day, and there's no way that we could track them that far. Uh, let's see, whichever is more convenient, this one.
this one. Yeah. So you can, as you can see, these go on as a backpack. Um, they're sewn together at the breast. These, there's four straps sewn together with uh, cotton embroidery thread. So they're designed to fall off in hopefully two or three years when the battery life of the transmitter is dead. Um, these birds aren't completely full grown yet. So what we try to do is leave about maybe an inch and a half gap between their spine and the radio so that they have a little bit of room to grow into it. Yeah. radio is held on with small brass ferrules that, that allow us to uh, put it on pretty quickly and easily. We then will cut off the ends of the, the straps here and uh, melt the ends of the with a battery-powered soldering iron so that they don't unravel. <laughs> 